Convent, what's up? Welcome to my channel, am I tripping or not tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. So I'm just here to do a collective check-in, my G. Oh, excuse me. I do cuss in my readings and get no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We gonna do it to get dirt. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with your sign nor situation, nor do I give a fuck. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in Tarolanda. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love ya. Uh, tracking numbers are going out today. Uh, between today and Friday, everybody should, nah, let's push it to Saturday. Between today and Saturday, everybody should have their tracking number and your shit should be in the mail. Thank you for your purchase. There's still a few left on the website, which will be in the description box below this video. Yeah, yeah, right? Y'all, I keep getting this message. Uh, it says Ouija versus Ouija, right? So W-E, capital G is in gangsta, right? Versus Ouija, Q-U-I-J-I. So Ouija versus Ouija is what they said. I'm like, oh shit, okay, well, what's popping then? And then I've been hearing that uh, Bone Thugs, uh, dear Mr. Ouija, could you please tell me my future? Will I die a murder? Will I die a bloody murder? Come, come again, dear Mr. Ouija. Somebody fucking around with it, G. Somebody fucking around with that Ouija board. And they say, you don't know now, yeah. I stopped fucking around with it years ago because that motherfucker, people was chopping their fingers off and shit, real shit, okay? Seen this shit with my own fucking two eyes, okay? Real crazy shit was going on in that fucking house. Uh, so, y'all be, y'all, uh, let's go, convent. These motherfuckers don't know shit, okay? Uh, give me some messages for the convent. Why did we get the Ouija versus the Ouija? What's up with that? So stay woke. Boom, 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 boom. They're just creeping. Told you childish Cambino. Cambino, I don't know. Gambino. Yeah, somebody could be Italian. I don't know. But that's what this card is. This is somebody uh, like watching your ass or watching your shit convent. Or this is also moon. This is also e It's also what this is too, G. Uh, somebody may be waiting for something to happen. I heard the full moon or something, or they're waiting on something to happen to you. They're just waiting. Uh, basically, she keeps passing. She just waiting. She, she keeps passing me by. You passing these motherfuckers up too. Uh, wow. Okay, give me another one. Luke Skystalker. How you guys stay woke ninjas creeping and Luke Skystalker is definitely somebody watching your ass, G. Uh, probably because you a G. I just called you one. Yes. Uh, Ouija versus Ouija. Yeah, they're watching. Somebody wants to uh, put their powers or their skill or their... Uh, if this could be at work. This could be uh, in your family, like competition. Somebody wants to put their skill up to, towards yours. But they cheating, G, <laughs> is what the fuck this is. Uh, if you're supposed to be testing your skill against mine, why the fuck is you watching my skill, cuz? That's what the fuck this is. Somebody trying to beat you at your own game here, convent. Nah. <laughs> nah. It don't work like that's why they still waiting. And I'm in so deep. Yeah, you know I'm such a fucking fool. We know. <laughs> we know. Uh, this person is a fucking idiot, G. Okay. Some of these people got kids. They need to be watching them little motherfuckers, okay? But they watching your ass. This person watches you in secret, whoever, uh, so whoever this, they're making me feel like light versus dark, Ouija versus Ouija, right? Uh, it makes me feel like Ouija with a Q is watching the Ouija with a W uh, do they thing, but they're watching them in secret. Give me another one here. Yeah, trying to figure out how to restrict somebody. The belt tried to come out. That's discipline or restriction. But somebody would only be watching you and stay woke and all this other shit uh, to restrict you. 
What would they need to discipline you unless this your motherfucking kid? So some of y'all, yes, this is your kid. And they gonna try to test your motherfucking gangster and you gonna have to get up in their ass, basically, G. This is somebody who think they smarter than you, convent, okay? Multiple people actually playing games. Look at this shit. Three of Cups with the playing game shit. It's multiple people watching you. You do need more than one person on the Ouija board. I mean, if you're a human, you do. <laughs> I'm, that's all I'm gonna say about the eye out. But yes. Uh, these people have been taking steps to, or trying to figure out what steps to take. Yeah, they mad. Look at them. They mad, mad. They plies mad. They getting tired too. Uh, there's multiple people out here, Convent, playing games, watching you in secret. I don't know what these games are, uh, that they're playing, but it's, uh, well, shit, they sandbox motherfuckers. Childish Gambino, they said. Okay, well, I guess so. Shout out to you. This ain't you, but, you know. So it's three childish Gambinos in a sandbox uh, playing games, watching you. I feel like, Convent, you're focused on what you're doing. You're very quiet about what you know. It's a lot of shit motherfuckers don't know about you. They think you be sleeping and shit, but you not. Uh, this is uh, I can walk, talk, and chew gum. This is I know a whole lot of shit. Just because I don't play in the sandbox with you motherfuckers don't mean I don't know how to play, bitch. It means I'm the motherfucking coach, ho. That's what the fuck it mean. That's what this is, Convent. Let's keep going. How you gonna play a game and you wrote the fucking handbook, Convent? And I'm not saying that like, you just like all this amazing thing, but this is almost like you've mastered this shit. You know what I'm saying? You mastered this already. So whatever this is, is fucking child's play. Girl, that shit's some child's play. Bounce that shit like, yeah. Bounce that shit like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Mm. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go there. Say I'm acting light skin. I can't take you nowhere. Yeah, maybe some of y'all, somebody underestimated y'all. Uh, thinking that you just like a, this a place for families that drive Camrys and go to Disney. Yeah, then maybe they thought you was a gullible ass motherfucker. I don't know. Uh, Convent, it looked like a... Uh, People about to shut the fuck up. I'll put it to you this way. They gonna play games with each other in the sandbox. They ain't about to play with you no more. Put one on uh, Stay Woke Ninjas Creepin', please. This the maze. This Frankie, Beverly, and Maze. Yeah, joy. Yeah, didn't they sing that too? No, that's that's Rob Bass. Oh, this the bass head. You know what Steve said? Yep, moon card. Yo, but ain't nothing but a bass head. Somebody going crazy in this motherfucker. But, uh, convent, sorry from that note, right? Whoever is watching you here uh, is going crazy because they can't figure out how you know things. But look how tall you are. Look at the perspective you have over these little bitty motherfuckers here. Uh, that's why. Somebody trying to figure out how you do what you do. I don't really feel like you keeping it secret here with this moon card, but still stay woke ninjas creeping. It's not that you keeping it a secret. It's you've mastered this already. Why the fuck would I go back to kindergarten? That's fucking stupid. Uh, basically is what this is. Somebody out here damn show talking confusing out here. That's why I posted on that community board. The tarot land is turning into the Tower of Babel. Uh, Page of swords with the maze. People just talking in circles and shit, confusing motherfuckers. Be careful of people projecting shit, especially tarot readers out here. Uh, that's what they're doing. They're projecting shit to me. It's almost like if they say, uh, you may suffer some money problems. Uh, in don't, don't receive that bullshit. Why the fuck should you, bitch? You may motherfucking be receiving money problems. Hell, not me, you and the other childish Gambinos. Be careful of this shit. Uh, all of this. Your person may come back and lie to you. No, bitch, your person may come back and lie to you, simple bitch. He ain't gonna come back and lie to me. Be careful of these people playing games with y'all. That's what this shit is. Somebody out here projecting words, page of swords, with, uh, like, hidden shit under it. You know, you watch commercials and there's subliminals under shit. Be careful of this shit. Somebody or someone, this could definitely be at your job. Like where they just keep changing the rules or confusing shit. You like, bitch, can we wear jeans or can we de fuck not, bitch? Let me know. Shit, what should I put on? Khakis, hoe? Because y'all confusing me, right? This type of shit. It's like to keep the people buzzing or coming back for more salute. It's like uh, some, some problem is presenting itself as the cure convent in your life, G. They playing games with your motherfucking ass, G. Real shit. All of them uh, kind of crazy, though. It's a lot of people about to start losing their mind, G. Three of Cups with the Frankie Beverly and Maze card. What's that song? 
The one everybody play at the family reunion, G. Everybody knows this song. Oh, you make me happy. Yeah, this motherfucker on your nuts. This you can bet. Yeah, that's why they watch your ass. <laughs> wow. Before I let go. Yeah, they bout to, though. Three of wands, three of pinnacles. You got the three of cups with the ace of pinnacles. Yeah, it's about to be conflict in the group. Uh, these motherfuckers about to start turning on each other, even if this is at your job convent, okay? People that try to, like, uh, come up against you when you remove yourself or just realize what the fuck was going on, they start eating each other, G. These, like, motherfuckers eating their own babies and shit is what this is. The wolf, uh, the mother wolf eating her cubs and shit. That's what's about to start happening, G. And they don't even realize it. Uh, or you don't or somebody don't. I don't know. I'm going to see where you fit in with this because this is the Ouija versus Ouija. So I'm assuming this is, I mean, shit, Ouija with a Q over there. And uh, shit, I don't even think this us yet. So put one on the uh, Luke Sky Stalker. Okay? This is the, I think it's the page of wands here. Told you somebody in that dark ass shit. Look at this shit. This person could wear a lot of black. Don't mean shit. I wear black all the motherfucking time. But this person talk dark. This, uh, I can walk, talk, and chew gum. This somebody who learn about the dark arts, talk about dark shit, live dark shit, only know dark shit, but they really don't though. These some, you know what this remind me of? This remind me of somebody who live like, uh, who like, uh, ain't never really been through shit and that's why they're interesting. This is this type of motherfucker convent. Uh, that's why I said people who uh, really done seen the devil and done met the motherfucker would never call on him, G. You would never call on that motherfucker. That's how I know you ain't never really met him and shit. Because you damn sure got to get it. I mean, if we're going to talk about it, let's fucking talk about it, right? If you're going to get initiated in some, on some demonic shit, you got to do some demonic shit. And this ain't no casting, no e and all this other bullshit. Nah, bitch, get out there in the motherfucking streets, bitch, and put in some fucking work. Allegedly. Uh, is what this is if you really trying to be down. That's why I laugh at these motherfuckers talking about all this dark shit. Nah, bitch, you ain't even been initiated in even do no dark shit. Gang, I put that shit on every motherfucking thing. Uh, so, uh, convent, for those that have really been through some things, trust me, you've met some real demons. They ain't met shit. These people can't fucking fade you, G. They can't. Uh, they protected by their friends and shit, and them and their little friends get to go play games and get their nails done or beards cut or whatever the fuck it is, lunch and shit. Right? And then come and play in the handbook and shit. That's all this. This is just some child's play here. So don't let these people confuse you and get you all out of pocket on some bullshit. Okay? Put one on this page of swords. These people are looking to do something. The Ouija with a Q. I see him. I have to pull the W later. But uh, the Ouija with a Q, page of swords with the page of wands. These, they are trying to figure out what action to take, but they confused. Frankie, Beverly, and Mays. Uh, so stay woke. These people don't sleep. They watch you fucking constantly. Uh, all type of shit. It's like you got them biggie, biggie, biggie. Can't you? Yeah, hypnotize. Hypnotize, G. Woo! What step is it that they want to take? The Ouija with a Q. So you got the Princess of Cups. Or is she the queen? I think she the queen of cups. <laughs> with, I'm still getting used to these cards. With the, uh, pay, you got three pages. Look at this shit. Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Page of Cups. That's three of them, right? These little bitty motherfuckers, I told you. No disrespect to nobody who had Clarence parents and they were a really fucking great marriage and all that shit. But this a fucking brat here. You know what I'm saying? Who was raised well, who parents probably still take Queen of Cups, still take care of them and shit. They still call and ask this motherfucker for shit, right? And this the person hating on you. You done been through some real shit, got yourself out of some real sticky situations that could have really put your ass night night. For real, because not all of y'all made it out, uh, is what I'm saying. Some of y'all done lost children trying to figure, like, real, real motherfucking problems, G. And these are the people trying to send demons your way. They don't even want to fuck with your demons, G. They really fucking don't, okay? Message, you really fucking don't. Uh, because that shit we've been trying to fight for a long ass time. Deep, dark shit. So if you bitches fucking want it, come and get that shit, bitch. You'll never get out of the fucking shit I send you. I fucking promise. I fucking promise. And I never say shit like this, convent, but I feel like I'm supposed to. Uh, all you bitches gonna fucking get it. I ain't even fucking playing with you. Uh, do you know how many people I know that was just... They owe. They owe the light. Okay? Do you understand? For all the dark shit they did. Your enemies, my enemies, because you ain't never had a friend like me, said my spirit guides. Y'all better wake the fuck up. 
But this YouTube convent, let me get off of me, but y'all know how I get sometimes. But yeah, these three young motherfuckers probably reporting to some whatever, a boss, it's a queen out here, but it's three pages. Or this bitch got a lot of fucking children and shit. Got other shit she need to be tending to, cleaning her house and shit and all this other shit, but stuck in a maze in regards to you. Or sir, shit, somebody doing this shit. Somebody doing this shit. Somebody trying to connect with your energy here or play games with the shit. Somebody also tried to like call someone to like go back to like a, a past. Somebody wanted somebody to go back to like a karmic situation or a karmic way. Somebody may want to do this to you, convent. But what these people don't understand is that you are made anew, right? God created you in his image. So you've been clean. You already been crucified. So what they're trying to bring up is the dead you, the one that hung on the cross. That's what they're resurrecting is your past, G. And that ain't going to be good for these people. Y'all motherfuckers about to struggle with drug addiction, G. Uh, suicidal thoughts. Uh, people going to be having murderous eyes towards you. I put that shit on every motherfucking thing. Every fucking thing. Do you understand me? Stay the fuck out my shit. Convent, command your energy like that, G. Command your energy like that. Crazy shit is, you ain't even really got nothing to do with it. You're just being alerted that this is what's going on and who they're sending as your team. I didn't ask for anything. Uh, they just came and told me like, oh shit, not the gangster, the killer and the dope dealer. Yes, three of cups. Uh, convent, sometimes you're, do y'all remember when I was telling y'all like a while ago, like your demons will never let uh, like a lower demon, right? Come and fuck your shit up because your higher demon wants you. The demons you battle with every day already want to take you out. So why would they let another motherfucker send a demon, especially if you're here for a reason? Why would they let another motherfucker take their title? It's like demon versus demon. This demon's like, no, this divine feminine, divine masculine is mine. I plan to take them down. So in order to do that, I will rock your world fucking demon, right? That's what this is. Your demons is laying out other demons so they can still come back and take you out. Your demons ain't done with you. You know what I mean? But they damn sure ain't about to let these motherfuckers send some shit over here. Are you crazy? This is a dark versus dark here. Ouija versus Ouija. Amen. Yeah. My homeboys thought the Ouija board was funny and shit. They disrespect that motherfucker. Uh, call on people they knew damn well they shouldn't have been. Cause that's why they pinky fingers was getting cut off and glass was popping. I swear, I swear y'all. I put this shit on everything, G. We was playing that shit one day, right? Me and my homeboys and shit. First, the candle blew out. It cracked and shit. And my homeboy ran out the apartment and shit. And crazy fucking Chrome, right? The dude I got posted on my damn shit, he was there. Because he kept asking to talk to Tupac. And they was like, no. He was like, can I talk to Biggie? They were like, no. Nah. He was like, fuck you then, motherfucker. Let me talk, right? The shit went boom. I swear it was another girl up in there. But she was acting like she was asleep. But she was scared. This bitch took all her clothes off, G. Like straight got booky naked in front of all my homeboys and ran in the shower and just stood there in cold water screaming and shit. I called 911 on that bitch. Okay, I put that shit on everything. Why y'all fucking around? That's the type of energy that some of us hold. Please stop fucking with these divine folk. I keep telling y'all. Y'all don't know where these people come from, what they've been through. You only see what the fuck people show you when they show up at work, when they show up on YouTube, or when they show the fuck up on Instagram. Y'all don't know these people. What y'all think generational curses are and shit? Motherfucker, look, on some real shit, and I'ma just keep, I'm keeping it a honey with y'all, cause fuck it, this is what y'all want, right? Like people trying to send me like this little death shit or whatever the fuck, G. Number one, I already told y'all I got all them placements of Scorpio. But uh, once I saw my daddy eyes blown out his head, G, there's no, I mean, what else? <laughs> like it don't get no worse than that, as far as what can scare a motherfucker. Right? What can make a nigga want to go and get it? That type shit. You bitches ain't ready for my dreams and my nightmares. I put that shit on every motherfucking thing, bitch. I put that shit on everything. My God is a great God. He spared me from all of that. But he also allowed that to, uh, that energy and that past to protect me and stay woke because ninjas creeping. Same shit, convent with you. Don't, don't uh, underestimate your past at all. You were putting them situations with them fucked up parents, in them gangs, drugs, uh, uh, whatever, alcohol, pro all that shit. You were, uh, Mary Magdalene was put like that in order to meet Christ, right? Uh, who knows why? Don't nobody know? Shit. So don't uh, let your past, don't let people make you feel like your past 
uh, ain't as powerful as whatever the fuck they got going on. Your past way more powerful. That's what you gonna draw from to slay these motherfuckers is your past, G. You just doing it a different way. Actually, you're not doing anything at all. You giving your life over to God just initiates the shit, really. It's almost like, well, let's play ball then, bitches. Let's play motherfucking ball then. It's like y'all calling up some shit that I was down with. You know what I'm saying? So when they come here, they show fucking respect, bitch. Real shit. So I return all that shit to your motherfucking ass. Whoever want the fucking problem with the nun. I ain't gonna threaten to hurt you and I don't have to anymore. You know what I mean? That's what they said. That shit's over. But now my beat down is in the physical on some real shit. Anyway, Convent, thank you for letting me vent. Put one on the Three of Cups and the uh, playing games. Just like that. Official. Yeah. Official magician right here. You got the title card with the magician. But it's here with these three. You see this uh, magician moving this mask? You about to find out who's not gang, bitch. Let me find out. Some of y'all already know who the fuck ain't gang. But y'all about to find out who these so-called official ma magicians are? Three of Cups out here playing games and shit. These some sandbox ass motherfuckers. This could be people who started their own business and you find out they mom and they daddy helped them. Or this is somebody who portrayed like they got it popping and they fucking some nigga uh, who married to a whole nother bitch and he paying the rent and she selling pussy. All this shit. All this shit. You about to find out. Like, oh, that's how you got on? And you gonna try to project some shit at me, bitch? So you ain't never even been homeless and shit, talking all this bullshit. This a motherfucker talking about how they done lost shit and all this other shit. These motherfuckers ain't lost shit. It ain't said they have. It ain't said nothing. That's just a story. That's something people are making up. It's some people around you convent making up shit. A uh, magician card talking about this some real shit. No, the fuck it ain't, G. No, the fuck it ain't or else all these pages out here. You ain't even, these people ain't even experienced shit. They mama have or one bitch has. But most of these motherfuckers is all pages, G. They ain't been through a motherfucking thing. They bout to, though, for fucking with you. They already confused. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers having crazy-ass dreams. I told you, man, that murderous motherfucker was going to be in your dreams, bitch. I told you. I don't know why they sent him. <laughs> okay, look. I don't know why they sent his old crazy motherfucking ass in your room. But they did. And so, convent, the people that, let's say... Let's say your people, I mean, I am picking up on y'all spirit guys and shit because it's we're collective. So surely if this is happening to me, right, this is surely happening to you where your enemigos is just driving. They like uh, the Tower of Babel. Remember, they thought they were shooting arrows and killing God in heaven. Remember, that's why they built the, the Tower of Babel. They wanted to attack heaven. And then the arrows came back down with blood on them and killed them all, G. It's like an illusion. It's like God made them think like, yes, you're, you're really going to kill me. Okay, buddies, go ahead and try to let you motherfuckers build this tower. And I'm going to watch you, silly motherfuckers. I'm going to watch y'all play in the sandbox. Gang I am, says God, because y'all playing with the shit, basically. But you think this shit official, huh? You think this really going to get you up into the heavens, huh? You going to fuck with me? All you little young ass page ass basically is what this is. So stay woke is what this is. Somebody think they about to come into your palace, to your kingdom and shit. They don't even fucking know how to get there, G. You know how much hell they got to go through to get there, convent? To get to your shit? A lot. But what I was going to say is not all your, uh, it's almost like your uh, spirit guys, your ancestors, right? They're not all, like the energy is not all from passed away people. Some of this is y'all's lifestyle that, no that you no longer engage in, like certain people, places and things, right? Like, say you used to hang around a bunch of gossiping ass bitches, and now you don't hang around a bunch of gossiping ass bitches no more. So when you peek some shit, it's almost like you're already protected from it because you know what the fuck it is. It's almost like it's a protection in itself. Experience is what's uh, resurrecting this protection. Believe that shit. Believe that. Fuck with these other motherfuckers telling y'all, okay? Your past is very relevant in regards to your future, your present, and all that shit. That's how you learn, Laverne. That's why I don't fuck with the dark shit, because I've seen enough of it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people died from that shit, and it wasn't even from the fucking Ouija board. You know what I'm saying? But best believe you tapping up in some shit like that, you either going to see some crazy shit, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, be involved in some crazy shit, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, or you ain't going to survive the shit if you really down with the fucking shits, and you're going to deal with it for the rest of your fucking life for those playing with this dark shit, okay? Pull on that, bitch. See if I'm telling you the truth. Had that motherfucker pinky finger in our freezer for six months and shit. I don't even know why we didn't throw the shit away. We kept the shit. I don't even know. Like crazy. We was on some crazy shit. <sighs> okay. Put some on this. Uh, Stay woke ninjas creeping with the maze and Frankie Beverly. It's 
Somebody name could be Frankie. Somebody name could be Beverly. Shit, I don't know. I got Gemini out here. Cancer. Uh, Pisces. Scorpio. Those are the main signs I have. But shit, everybody out here except for Earth. But that's probably the motherfucker hiding behind this shit. I have a feeling it's a lot of people involved in somebody trying to take you down, take you out, convent. It's a, it's a group. This somebody who don't even tell you what they sign is, G. <laughs> so they play games and shit. This somebody will tell you, this somebody will give you a fake name, fake this, but it, they, it's not even really that it's fake. They do it because they don't know who they are. Somebody is upset with you and attacking you, Convent, because they don't know who they are. But that's how the fuck are they going to figure out who you are if they don't know who they are? It's like somebody wanting to drive your car and they never drove before. Bitch, you don't even know where the fuck you going, bitch. This, this type of shit, it's a lot of dumb hoes out here. Let's, let's keep going. I'm not supposed to be getting all hype up in this shit. They see it. Uh-huh. Double moon with the moon. Come on, G. And the maze, something being bounced back to somebody. Yeah, like, uh, you, you got some, I mean, shit, you need the dark and the light convent, but you got stuck in it too back in the day. You just found your way out. You got a different perspective. You know how to handle light and dark now. You know what I'm saying? Somebody about to get lost up in that shit. Y'all know how I feel about Marvin Gaye. Even though this is the Ace of Wands, this is my moon card, G. You know, he give me the creeps, G. He does. Crazy shit is, I think him and my, uh, real dad, right, that I told y'all that I saw with his eyes blown out and shit. We had to bury that nigga in sunglasses. Real shit, it was that bad. His head was all swollen. Real shit, if you just wanna know, I'ma tell you. Cause maybe I'll wake some of you motherfuckers up, right? But when this man died, right? I don't, I don't know, I think I was like two or three. I told y'all this story and they said this shit on the radio and I started crying. I didn't even know what death, Marvin Gaye, none of that shit was. I didn't think that I did. But him and my dad died like a day apart. Uh, years later, of course, but maybe I just knew when this man like died, I don't know that my father would die. Some shit like that. I remember being born. I remember coming into this world, G. Uh, this is this type of shit. So you have to be a part of the light and the dark to do these type of things. Some of y'all can do this shit. Some of y'all remember being born too, or at least can go back to this age. I remember coming out my mama pussy though. Real shit, I put that shit on everything I do. I done told my family and everything. They're like, that's fucking crazy how you describe the room and everything. It's vivid, okay? And people are trying to fuck with people like you who remember things, who have been through other dimensions, lives, have seen shit that nobody else will wanna see. It's been hard to go to sleep ever since. That's why I sleep well now because the dreams and the visions I have, nothing can fucking take those away from me. Uh, ever they're stuck with me and they had nothing to do with these bitches trying to send me anything bitch my my visions uh are way more terrifying than anything you could ever fucking send me i swear convent they telling me it's the same thing with you y'all done seen some crazy ass dark shit but you got out of it so just because you don't go around broadcast maybe you need to let these motherfuckers know i don't know that you do got damn got a dark side okay you do have one but what I was going to say is, uh, I mean, shit, you shouldn't have to explain to people all this shit. But sometimes you got to learn a motherfucker. Page of swords. All the, even the grown ones. Learn they motherfucking ass too. But it's mostly them. Uh, there's someone out here who's a little bit more mature in your job, your family or something. And they can feel uh, who you are. They know who you are. But they're a follower. They go along with these motherfuckers and shit who don't know shit. So uh, some of y'all going to have to get up in somebody's ass, but in a whole different way. That's all. Yeah, I have a dream. Mm-hmm. Divine feminine. Look at that shit. <laughs> Told you. That's Martin Luther. That ain't no motherfucking Rodney, bitch. You understand? We change lives in this bitch convent. That's what we were sent here to do. Change the masses, okay? To go towards God, period. No other way. Because if, if my job is to send you towards the most high, I'm sure he'll take care of you from then. If I can just say, go here, he'll tell you everything you need to know. I'm sure that I've guided you the right way. What the fuck is all this other shit out here? He ain't even out here. That's why I know this ain't you. This is the Ouija with a Q. That's how I know. I followed her to school one day. That's how I know. Yeah, fuck Tardia. Mace, Mace. Yeah, murder Mace. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Somebody eyesight about to be gone. Ooh, Divine Masculine, you watch out too, booty. I called you booty, so maybe she got a fat ass. Anytime I say that, it's a bitch with ass, okay? Or she won't ass or something, or she mad, <laughs> I don't know, some shit like this. But watch out, Divine Masculine. Uh, this specifically goes for you too. Divine Feminine, whenever you come out like that, well, number one, this the Ouija with a Q. So I don't even know why you out here, Divine Masculine, on this Q shit, right? On this Ouija shit, but it probably goes back to what I was saying too about my spirit guides and ancestors. They wasn't Divine Masculines then. <laughs> they weren't. But shit, it looked like they coming up as of now and shit. You know what I mean? We all will bow down in one day. Even the shit y'all praying to, these little false ass gods and shit. They don't do anything. They don't smell with that nose. They don't see with those eyes. They don't hear with them ears that y'all be fucking praying to. My God does all of that shit. And y'all bitches think y'all gonna fade us? Nah. That's what the fuck this is, convent. Anyway. Divine masculine, pay attention. There is also a masculine energy. Dare I say divine, but I mean, shit, he out here on the Q side. I feel like you fucking with a bitch that's into this shit. Uh, divine, there's some divine masculines out here uh, finding out that they're attached to someone that they love that's attached to some other shit, like some dark shit, and they've been playing games with your ass. Especially if you're a Pisces fucking male. Uh, they've been playing with your ass. Trying to get you confused in all this other shit. You know what the fuck it is. You know how bitches get down. Uh, they're telling me you already know how bitches get down. Apply your past to your present. <laughs> it's the same type of bitch with an ass. So I don't, or no ass. I don't know what the fuck. It, it seems like multiple bitches, so I don't know. One throwing cat and shit, but it don't smell too good if it's a trout swimming by it and shit. One just into some really dark shit, wear all black and shit. And there's another one that's just emotional and shit. Just fucking emotional. Uh, people are trying to use these tactics against you, divine masculine slash divine feminine. Divine feminine, when you come up in this energy, I know you just getting money, G. You serious about your shit when you get into your divine masculine energy. That's why I said, motherfucker, we could get dark. Yeah, I'm light-skinned, but I'm still a dark nigga. I'm a wig splitter. I'm a hard hitter. I'm an unforgiving, wild-ass dog nigga. If y'all want to see that shit. I mean, which I would never ever. It's almost like, uh... I would never even do that because my soul and spirit is on the line, right? But it's like you still got to fight, G. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't get this whole light and divine shit fucked up with the war, G. It's a spiritual fucking war. I got a girl named Daisy. She almost drove me crazy. Woo! I told you. They about to start losing their mind. You're going to hear motherfuckers talking crazy if they speak at all. You're going to start, uh, either people are starting to talk real weird, jumbled, and just sounding, just whatever, or they ain't going to say shit at all. But look who it is, the mumbling bitch. Tower of Babel, I told you. It's a Tatiana out here. It's a divine masculine out here trapped up with a Tatiana. It's motherfuckers at your job doing this shit. It's, it's probably all around, G. But I feel like these people have met the new you. These may be new people in your life convent that really don't, you uh, want to present your best self at all times, right? Not saying you're not authentic because I feel like they, they sense the realness in you. The moon is out here twice. Motherfuckers know. But it's like they really want to see some shit. But the way they want to see it is not how the fuck they going to get it though. But they going to know. Believe that shit. Believe that shit. Some of y'all some mass about to come off in some friend group. Somebody going to tell on somebody and shit and say, they were the ones that were really doing it. I was the one. That, this the, I told y'all that's why I don't fuck around with doing shit with three fucking people. I ain't even talking about no Manaj shit. I'm talking about anything because the third person always feel like the other two in my experience. They, the third person always feels like the other two then had another deal. You know what I'm saying? If it's just, I mean, I personally prefer to work alone. But if you're going to do some shit, man, it should only be two of y'all, G. Split right down the motherfucking middle. There is somebody here that's about to tell on somebody, G. Or the mask going to fall off on one of them because they going to get. I'm telling you, people turning on each other. The cues, they turning on each other, G. They are. Divine Masculine, make sure you use your intuition. It's on wipe me down. Use it during this time. We know what happened to Marvin Gaye, G. Pay attention, G. Pay attention. And his own daddy did his, that shit to him. Okay? <laughs> Cain killed his brother. So everybody thinking like, no, so-and-so wouldn't fuck all that shit. Yes, the fuck they would, G. Yes, the fuck they would. Joseph's brother sold him out. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> One on the three of cups with the official card, magician, 
Don't push shit past no motherfucking body, especially if they start talking weird, trying to confuse you and all this other shit. And come on, Jay. Put your fucking thinking cap on, people. Three of Cups with the official card. A magician with the playing games. Come on. I told you. I knew it. This is Otis. Otis got gonorrhea or gonorrhea. However he chooses to speak. He tried to make it fancy, but it's still the same shit, G. This is a dirty motherfucker that put on clean clothes. This is somebody who look good on the outside and they dirty, G. It's a magician out here hiding. I'm telling y'all. Some of y'all know who the fuck this is or a few people in your life. But some of y'all know uh, exactly who this is in fucking tarot land. It's been brought to your attention. Six of Wands. Who this fake ass magician is that's supposed to be official. That's been playing games with you motherfuckers. That's what this is. They just got the right one this time. I don't have to. I mean, I wear all black just because I like the shit. Not just because I'm proving a point that, you know what I'm saying? None of that shit. They don't give a fuck what you wear, bitch. Trust me. They don't. <laughs> Something is being brought to a, a divine masculine's attention about some uh, eerie ass shit going on. Again, divine feminine, this could be you as far as you just in this energy is being brought to your attention. That motherfucker's hella fugazi out here, dirty than a motherfucker, G. Doing it for fame or whatever they want to be seen. Somebody about to be exposed to, officially exposed up in this bitch. Y'all probably going to be the, well, it's not you doing it. That's why I said normally probably back in the day you would have, like I would have caught free smoke, free smoke, right? All that shit. They told me we've <laughs> don't even have to do that. It's almost like don't even lift a finger now, convent. You don't even have to lift a finger now. Uh, you don't. That's what's up. These are the cues. Let's check on y'all. The we G people, W E capital G people. Yay yay. What's up with us? Look, I told you your ancestors was here, Mr. Postman. Told you death card reversed. Remember, I told y'all about that. I must have been like a year or two ahead because they keep they kept referring. I don't know if that was this year when I was like, they told me to go back to that January reading and my energy was high as fuck. I could barely listen to it. I'm like, damn, a motherfucker was on that day. Like shit, right? But when I went back to listen to not this new year, but the one before that, when I was talking about uh, Hades and the, and the chariot and the ancestors and death and all that coming back, I was a year ahead, G. They're fucking here. They're fucking here. Uh, they wrecking shit. <laughs> that's why I said anybody y'all done dabbled in some dark shit y'all have uh and it stuck with you too it has y'all done seen some dark shit that done stuck with you some of y'all done buried people with your own hands two hands I have two you know what I'm saying that's uh a ritual you know what I'm saying that's we dedicated for life I'm gonna bury you and I'm gonna put the grab the last pebble on this motherfucker I'm gonna put on your ass this is some we loyal to the end G, to the fucking end and even after and that's what this is. You got just respect on both realms, period, period, point blank. You do. Give me another one. Yeah, preserved. Look at this shit. Mummified is what this is. This is preserving death. So, and this death is reverse, mind your business, because if it was this way, you'd be, you know what I'm saying? This would be death completed. There's nothing to preserve. You're worth a lot. That's why you're being preserved, uh, saved, protected, and all this shit. We G. We G like that. That's, that's just how it goes. Your ancestors, loved ones, crossed over loved ones. This is the four pinnacles the man is usually holding on real tight. Yeah, they got you. Uh, they were preserved just for this reason. Maybe not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Maybe this was their purpose. That's why I said a lot of my, my people have turned into divine masculines when they crossed over. There was nothing divine about their ass down here. I put that shit on there. It wasn't. I mean, they was cool, but if you got to know them. But if you saw them on the street, you grab your purse. You know what I'm saying? But to me, I love their ass. You know what I mean? I saw that shit in them. So when they passed away, this is telling me like these people are... Uh, paying back their, their debt now, especially to you that changed your life over and gave your life over to God, why wouldn't they be loyal to you in the next life if you was loyal to them in this one, G? Your loyalty in, in your lifetime and shit is paying off now, convent. All the shit that you paid, you about to get this shit. Anybody coming to steal the shit, they gonna meet these motherfucking bodyguards and shit. And it ain't fucking pretty, because I feel like these bodyguards are past like spirits, it's not even really the people. It's like, say you used to drink, you were an alcoholic and you like, I will never touch alcohol again, I'm, I'm done. And somebody come fucking with you, guess where that spirit of alcoholism go? That, would, that you were battling with or not battling with, but it was still dormant. It's allowed to go and attach itself to this person, whatever. 
So that's what I'm saying. People don't know who the fuck they be fucking with and what type of shit really be inside of them and shit. What type of thoughts and all type of shit. We control our shit. Uh, Y'all better stop fucking with these divine people, Q people. Yeah, they conspiracy people. QAnon, they said. Yeah, conspiracy people and shit. Uh, like them. They believe in anything. Yeah, but look at you. I ain't never scared. Bone crusher. Look at you. Came out reverse. You ain't scared. Yeah. It's almost like I hold dear that they, uh, that the, my loved ones and spirit guides are around me. Maybe uh, it's almost like I'm telling you, Convent, it feels like somebody tried to project some evil energy to you that you sleep with every fucking night, G. That you've been wrestling with either all your life, you sleep with every night, or it's just you're well acquainted with this shit already. You know what I'm saying? It's like peas and carrots uh, to you. They go together. You know what I'm saying? But somebody didn't know that about you, but you wouldn't be scared anyway. Uh, shit, we ain't gonna live forever, but life is eternal. There is a such thing as eternal life, death card reverse. And that's what we're holding on to, the four of pentacles. That's why you ain't scared, G. Uh, that's why whatever they try to send to you, especially some set up shit to set you up to fail, to die, to pass out, whatever the fuck, it won't work, G. It won't. You probably didn't already damn near die a few times. I done woke up on a surgery table before. When my whole insides just open, literally my whole stomach was open. And that happened like when I was eight, my mama should have sued the motherfuckers cause they didn't put me under anesthesia all the way. But real shit, I saw my whole guts and shit. Uh, that type of shit always stuck with me. It's like, what, what else is more frightening than, you know what I mean? Watching your fucking uh, guts out on the table uh, besides all the other shit. And I'm just using myself as an example, but this is the shit I'll be talking about. What, what else is left convent? What else they gonna take from you? Y'all done lost a lot of people, lost a lot of jobs. We always lose something. That's just part of the process. But that ain't what you hold on to. That's not what, uh, what we're here for. We're not here to preserve things. We're here to preserve our spirit and help preserve other people's spirits. That's what this is about. That's why you a fucking G, always, always. You wanna do good for people, period. And if it mean you gotta go while you doing good for somebody and shit, you had the courage and shit, then fuck it. Uh, you don't hold on to this life, what the fuck? That ain't what we preserving. That's why whatever they trying to send to you, you don't really give a fuck about it anyway. It's already, it's been trying to get you for years. Material shit been trying to get you for years. Dick and pussy been trying to get you for years. Uh, poverty, lack, all that shit been uh, plaguing us for years, G. That's how you know this person, these people, whatever, ain't really acquainted with it. Because somebody who went through the same thing with you, or as you, excuse me, would never want to put you through that shit because they understand your pain. That's why I said these little sandbox motherfuckers ain't been through shit, G. Send that shit back to their old coddled ass. Send that shit over there. That's why I said you could leave your pain out for these people to pick the fuck up. And they always do. They will again. You'll see it again. Like I told y'all the last time. You'll see it again. If it ain't happening already. Shit, I don't be paying attention. Shit get brought to my attention, but I don't pay attention. One on the death card reverse. Here with the Ouija, with the W, two of swords. With the death card reverse. Yeah, something's here to stay. Something's been blocked too. Two of swords is usually the man holding the swords, right? Blocking something, or it could be making a decision, but this is a tight rope. This is you like in sticky situations and here they come. Here come your people like Mighty Mouse up in this bitch, or you just get the strength. I ain't never scared, right? You know, it's a bigger meaning behind all this shit. It's like, you knowing why you hear convent defeats all this shit. Knowing what your purpose is, like the book of Eli, right? Knowing what that, what your purpose is, is what defeats all those enemies and shit till you get to where you going. The devil know that. The de That's why I said you, your own demons looking at you like this and somebody trying to send some punk shit over to you, it ain't finna happen, Captain. You protected by the dark side too, convent, they said. But that was appointed by God as well. You know how I always say your spirit guides, your council ancestors are appointed by the most high? Uh, the dark ones too. Believe that shit. <laughs> if that wasn't the case, how would God be able to kick the devil out of heaven and he'd never be able to return again, G? Who has that kind of power over the devil? So the God can really tell the devil to do what the fuck he wants him to do. Uh, period. Period. Use whatever dark entity he wants. 
Even the spirit of confusion, the Tower of Babel. Make these motherfuckers think these arrows really going to get here. I don't care, says God. They all going to fail anyway. They'll be crushed by the very stones that they fucking built this damn tower up with. Basically, convent. You don't need to worry about a thing here, okay? Three of Pentacles with the Queen Bee. Ain't that a bitch? I told you, motherfuckers. Divine Feminine, that would be you, Booski. Divine Masculine, I mean, shit, you look like you in trouble, mine. Okay? You was up there with the Q people. But that kind of makes sense right now. There's always a weaker twin in the womb. Uh, when a, um, a mother is pregnant with two twins, there's always a weaker twin and a stronger twin. Even though they're both kind of being fed from the same tube, one is more receptive of the nutrients the other one kind of depends on the other twin so divine masculine you may be slaying motherfuckers right now if your divine feminine fucking slaying them and it look like she is g or divine masculine whatever side you fit on maybe divine feminine that was you up there i don't know girl but divine masculine some of y'all this is you down here it doesn't matter the gender but there is a strong fucking queen bee out here emperor empress out here uh that will put in fucking work three of pentacles and not the way they think <laughs> this shit's reverse. Nah, I ain't got to end your life or do all that, all of that other shit. That shit's uh, over. You know what I mean? And if it ever come to that day, then God will put the sword in my hand. And then so it shall be. You know what I'm saying? Then that's just what the fuck it is. I'm going to keep it so real with y'all. But that's not what this is here. That's not what this says. This says that your loved ones and shit that passed on, that they are helping you figure things out. How to still build your empire and get or past this tightrope. It's a mental thing. Don't look down. Just keep looking straight ahead. That's what you're doing. Some work or something's been blocked or some type of collaboration that people had against you was blocked, Jean. They told me whoever these people are, if this is like some spiritual shit, right? Whoever these people are, uh, their ancestors weren't, were never there for them. Their ancestors were always here for you, they said. It's part of the prophecy. Dang, it makes sense though. If everything is written, right, and you were destined to be who you are, why would their ancestors protect them and you are part of the prophecy? So their ancestors died technically for you. Damn! Yeah, y'all better stop fucking with these divine people before we take some more of your kin, G. I'ma put that shit so fucking, I'ma put that shit on everything. I done lost a lot, so I, I feel comfortable saying that shit. We lose a lot in war. We do. Uh, we lose a lot of people and shit. That's what it is. But motherfuckers want to play. Shit. Uh, real shit. They just going to end up being your spirit guy, your ancestor. As long as you are on this path to righteousness, W-E-G people, right? Why would God allow someone else's ancestors or spirits to protect them to try to go against the prophecy or will God has for you? There's a seal on it. They can't. It's you're already been deemed king and like King David. He slayed a uh, Goliath after he was already uh, anointed king by uh, the prophet Samuel. He was already anointed and still had to go slay the giant, still had to go fight and, and run from Saul and all this other shit. Still, it don't change the title. You just a warrior, too. Shit. People got this whole royal shit. Fuck the fuck up. Uh, a real one is always a, one that's respected because some of y'all born into this shit, right? Just born into money or whatever and king and queen of yourself. Clarence's parents got a really nice fucking marriage. The ones that people respect are the ones that fought wars and came back and shit. Those are the king and queens that we respect who lost soldiers and shit and fought alongside with they ass. These are the ones that we respect and these are the ones that respect you in the afterlife and they still protecting you, G. They still protecting you. So it's almost like if these other people's uh, spirit guys, let's say they do turn against the light, like God charges them, like, no, you will not touch my son, my daughter. And these whatever these whatever these entities are like, nah, fuck that. Then your spirit guides slay they ass. It does. It's like a win win for you either way is what they're saying here. They told me uh, back to what I was saying, the reason why these people, uh, their ancestors, uh, and spirit guides and all that that they thought they had were never here for them. They said it's written in the Bible. When Jesus rose, other godly, other godly men and women rose too. But only other godly men and women were able to see them. You know what I mean? To know that they were there to witness them. Jesus didn't go around to everybody like, hey, guess who's back? No, nah, those with the eyes to see. So uh, surely everybody would not have this type of protection, G. They surely don't. Those people were never here for them. They telling me like it's almost like and not to be rude, but it's almost like whoever they lost in their life, their life was given for you. So this person could come across you one day and that guy could come across, you know, so this person trying to fuck with you, 
their guy that's attached to them would eventually see your light and come and attach to you. It's like you just inherited these motherfucker spirit guides, G. Literally, you just inherited someone else's spirit guides and ancestors. They were charged to you, they said. They were charged to you. Damn. Whoever this is, they're leaving. It's like a boss figure, a uh, manager, a uh, co-worker. It's somebody who has some type of stature or something. These spirit guides uh, turn their back on this motherfucker. Like, motherfucker, you walking a real thin line fucking with that divine being. Uh, we want no parts. That's why I said your spirit guides, they, they follow the light, G. The, the ones that I'm picking up on, even the ones connected to these negative dark people, they do have spirit guides of the light, but they're bound by that. So if this person is dark or doing some fucked up shit, they are not bound by them anymore. They broke the fucking contract, especially if they were coming against the light, which is you. So their ancestor spirit guides that are bound by the light, period, says their contract. It doesn't say what light, the light, which is God. And you're bound by the same light here on earth. Where the fuck you think they gonna go, G? Where the fuck? That's why you sleep so well when you Gucci. Your work is good, all that shit. You came out as the fucking empress with the three of pentacles and the two of swords. You made a decision to just fucking keep moving and build your empire. You get more bees with honey. Yes, you do. You straight, convict. That's too many. Give me one on here on this W-E-G. Raggedy motherfucker card. I told you, man. Now, the crazy shit about the raggedy motherfucker, I like this card because it goes back to what I had said about in the beginning about your ancestors that wasn't shit on earth. <laughs> wasn't, uh, I mean, shit, they'll tell you. Shit, you knew they wasn't shit on earth. But all that's over, two of swords. They've been blessed. They've been cleaned. Uh, and they're paying that shit back in this life, however God sees fit. But what I'm picking up here, I can't say that God is only having them protect you. I'm sure God has multiple things for these souls and spirits to do to make themselves right with him, right? To get right with him. Cause I'm, I'm picking up that they wanted to. My homies love God and shit. They didn't always act like it. None of us did. How many of us can say we always acted like we love God? Some of us worse than others or whatever, right? But I'm picking up on some raggedy motherfuckers. They've been forgiven for them sins. So that's why they're here too. Some of them was always stuck here and never even got to go. Some of these people that passed on convent never even transitioned over as far as, uh, and I'm, this is not for everyone because I know this is a touchy subject, right? But some of them never left because they were, they were like told to stay here and like finish out life, just not in the body. Uh, they can't work, like do a physical labor, four swords with the three of pentacles. Uh, it's more like an energy they have to invest. Four of pentacles, three of pentacles, and seven of pentacles. Time, effort uh, at changing something. Whatever God is telling them to change, I don't know. But you damn sure putting a raggedy ass bitch or a raggedy ass man to rest. That's for sure. Uh, Y'all about to have the courage to slay this giant, G. You are if you haven't already. This seems like some type of work something because the three of pentacles is out here. It could be you just tired of your boss talking shit. Like this raggedy lazy bitch don't do shit. Don't know what the fuck she talking about. And I'm tired of it, G. I'm fucking tired of it. But you ain't going to say it like that. But you damn sure going to get your point across and people going to know what's happening. Okay? But I can't take a knee because I'm wearing all white. Yeah, you already committed to the most high. I don't bow down to you motherfuckers. Is you crazy? <laughs> is you crazy? No. Uh, that's what this is. You take your uh, seat at the table, they said. You commanded and demand your seat at the table, they said. And I like to fly away. Zoom, zoom. That's my Lionel Richie card. Yeah, you about to take off, convent. Empress card, uh, ascend, take off, fly. You have a different perspective of life. You're going way further than these people ever could. Your business, your job, your career, and all these raggedy motherfuckers is already walking a fucking thin line with your ancestors. Uh, that's why they feel like this, eight of swords. I'm telling you, you about to see people, I feel like a lot of y'all battled like sadness, depression, uh, anger, you know what I mean? That's a common emotion for a lot of people to have and you've been battling that lately, feeling good, resting in the Lord, right? So where else would that energy go? To your enemigos, G. You about to watch these motherfuckers start looking bad, G. They probably already fucking look bad. They don't look how they used to look. They skin all fucking cracked and dry. They don't glow in the sun and shit. None of that shit. You can tell. Uh, this is the energy you, uh, like, you basically gave them that, right? Your payment for their, I guess, spirit guides and ancestors who are bound for the, by the light. You gave them your dart. So I'll take your light for my dart, right? And your dart, real dart. Your dark real dark, so you happy to get rid of it and give it back to them and let them fuck with it and see what the fuck really goes down in dark time town, right? 
and then you take their light and you manifest with that shit. So you about to take off. You made uh, the right decision here is what this is by putting something to rest for good. Don't nip it in the bud. Nip that shit in the fucking root, G. Nip that shit in the root. Anyway, convent, that has been your... Ouija versus Ouija collective energy reading. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single person getting no fit nuts. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not? Oh, the Ouija people with the WE. Sorry, I didn't call on those signs. I got uh, Leo out here, uh, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, maybe Aquarius, Gemini, maybe Leo. Everybody shit. You know, it don't even matter. That don't even matter. I ain't here to argue about his facial features type shit, you know? Anyway, like I said, this may or may not have resonated with every single person getting no fit nuts. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot, my name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.